welcome to this vlog. I am filming on an actual camera today, but today is Thanksgiving and I am spending it alone. So I thought it would be nice to like film a little video. I am not alone out of necessity, more so out of choice. I was so graciously invited by a couple friends to join their Thanksgivings. It just so happens that my family isn't really doing a Thanksgiving all together this year. Um, and I couldn't really fly back home because of my work schedule and everything. So it just felt right to just stay at home and do nothing. But I guess I just wanted to kind of make a day of it. Um, I want to like make myself a nice meal. I haven't really properly cooked in a minute um, because I was ill and then I was um, on a trip and then you know the time before a trip when you just refuse to go grocery shopping because it's gonna go bad and so you're just like eating takeout. So anyways, I really want to like take the time to cook something and also maybe like bake a dessert. And also, I want to teach myself how to crochet. I learned to knit in a few months ago, so I've been doing that, making various things, but I do want to learn to crochet. I bought some crochet hooks and I have some yarn lying around, so I wanted to like learn how to make at least like a granny square, so that's on my to-do list. I also want to... <laughs> It's funny because it's like 1 p.m. right now and I'm talking about all these things that I want to do today and I'm not sure how much I will accomplish, but yeah, I did partake in Black Wednesday. Um, I don't know if that's a thing in other cities, but in Chicago, everyone goes out the night before Thanksgiving, so I woke up a, a bit late, uh, but feeling good. I didn't really do, I didn't partake um, in an extreme way, so um i'm happy about waking up and not wanting to curl into my own body so yeah i guess this is the intro to this vlog also of course i want to talk about some of the books that i'm reading i'm reading two nonfiction books i'm reading kitchen confidential by anthony bourdain and then i'm also reading i went to paris earlier this month and I have been getting more into like learning about city planning and architecture so I'm reading a book about that how Paris like came to be um, and it's about uh, how basically the city formed in like the 16th and 17th century so I've been enjoying both books and I, I like them both because they're both informative and entertaining in their own ways and i was just going through my books yesterday and i don't think i will be reading these in this vlog i'll probably read them when i go back to my parents for christmas but i bought these two last year um and i didn't get the chance to read them but they're two like holiday books i have holidays on ice by david sedaris i think he has a really great voice very lighthearted and comical but still talking about very tangible and like real things but he does it in a very candid way and i think it's very heartwarming in a sense um but you know he's definitely experienced some things i feel like the holidays are crazy for everyone and i can only imagine what his family is getting up to i've read calypso by him but i don't know why i'm talking about this but i thought it would be fun to share then i found this book i don't know where i bought this i think i bought this at open books um in chicago open books is like a non-profit used bookstore and they sell books for very cheap this is a christmas memory by truman capote but now that i'm looking at the inside flap i think this is actually from myopic which is in wicker park and is another used bookstore, which I really like. But the books are more expensive at Myopic than they are at um, Open Books. I think this would be a cute read as well, um, but I'll probably bring both of these to my parents. I want to go to the grocery store before it closes to get my ingredients for my dinner and whatever baked good that I decide to make. That being said, I have no idea what I'm going to make, so I think I'm going to try to conjure up some little ideas in my brain. 
and head out and so today is gonna be a very um administrative but fun and creative thanksgiving so yeah anyways maybe this was a very long intro but hope you enjoy <laughs> i actually want to take a second to talk about my bag um i got this from depop and i love it it is such a cute like small messenger bag and I use it all the damn time. So yeah, I guess I just wanted to take a moment, talk about that, but I'm gonna go to the store. I decided what I'm going to make. I will share, <laughs> and I will share once I get the ingredients and I hope to God that the grocery store is still open because I didn't check. I, well, I actually did check and I couldn't find the hours for Thanksgiving, so, but I'm gonna go and say bye to this little one. I'll be right back. That excursion was much more involved than I thought it was going to be. I was able to get all my ingredients that I wanted to get, but I had to go to two grocery stores because the grocery store by me isn't super big, but they have like what I need. But the like butcher portion of the store was closed, even though the store was still open, but granted I did come about 10 minutes before closing, but I knew what I needed to get. So I got most things, but I didn't get any wine or any beef. And so I had to go to another grocery store and it just so happened that the bus came like right when I walked out of the grocery store. So I hopped on the bus and then went to a different grocery store and got what I needed and the bus wasn't running on the way back down so then I had to walk back. I didn't say but I'm making beef stew. I am debating when I want to start cooking because the beef stew will take some time to cook but I got the ingredients that I needed so woo. Hello, um, I'm going to start cooking because it's going to take like multiple hours because I need to marinate the beef but i'm going to make some tea while i prep the beef and then i think i'm gonna try to like read or try look, teach myself how to crochet or something while i wait i believe it is time for the crocheting portion of the day. Um, I have these extra balls of yarn that I wanna use. So I'm going to try to make granny squares with this. I'm working on another project. I'm working on this knit project, which looks probably so crazy, but I'm trying to make like one of those beanies that have like, they're like kind of pointed and I am not following anything. I'm purely just trying to go off, but it's like I'll cast on and it'll be like, I'll have like four or five inches ease, if you will, to, um, for it to like, cause obviously it will grow and then I want it to stretch. So it's a little more snug, but I just keep casting on too many stitches and estimating incorrectly and i'm not counting when i cast on and this is my second attempt and i'm going to have to unravel this and try again but i'm gonna count how many stitches but for now 
I'm gonna try to do a granny square and I'm gonna watch some YouTube and attempt. So, yeah. Yarn over, insert into the center circle, yarn over, pull through. I completed my first granny square. I just did two rounds because I'm practicing and I want to make like a book sleeve with like tiny ones, a bunch of tiny ones. So that is what the um motivation is but i have to make like a lot of these so we will see how that turns out but that'll be a project that i that will be ongoing but i'm glad to have successfully crocheted one thing thus far and i'm gonna make dinner now because my beef has been marinating for like two hours and so i think we're ready to go how do I get your house? Okay, bye. Trying the beef stew. I have a piece of beef right here. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm very happy and pleased with the outcome of this, so. Everybody. It is the next day. I wanted to take a second to actually talk about books because I haven't really talked about books um, in this video yet. And I kind of already talked about the book that I'm reading um, that is like about P Paris and city planning and architecture and the historical bits and bobs. So I'm not going to talk about that, but I am also reading Kitchen Confidential by Anthony Bourdain. It's kind of memoir-esque in where he kind of goes into detail about his um, adventures in the culinary underbelly, but it's really quite interesting. Um, it's a lot about like restaurant culture and his experience going to culinary school and working in restaurants, et cetera, et cetera. So, I think it's really cool. It's like a pretty straightforward read as far as like the writing style, but it is like highly entertaining. Like I feel like it's a very engage. It's written in a way that's very engaging. So I really like it. I'm just like itching for something a little more lyrical. So I thought I would pick something out right now. And then I have a bus that I need to catch in like 25 minutes because I want to go to Michael's to pick some stuff up. Yeah, nothing crazy. I just want to buy some like cheap yarn to make little scarves for my family's pets. One for my cat and then my sister's dog and then my parents' dog slash family dog. But I think I'm going to try to crochet those. So that'll be good crochet practice for me. And as far as my progress on granny squares, I've made like seven or eight 
but they're they're mini they're only two rounds so yeah but i kind of want to do like a checker board like book sleeve so that's that but let's pick a like poetry book to read okay location change i am sat here with in view of this bookshelf here because this is um my tbr shelf but i found some books that i thought would be good to read maybe over the weekend yeah they're kind of two shorter ones i actually bought this recently it is a little like penguin classics but it is um a little poetry collection by Emily Bronte. Out of the all of the Bronte sisters, I've only read Wuthering Heights and I've never read poetry by her, but I, I'm interested in exploring more of a traditional structure as far as like poetry and like rhyme schemes and the like go. It is called The Night is Darkening Around Me. I don't know if I said that, but I feel like I could really make some progress. I mean, it's like so short and it is Bronte's most passionate, powerful poems on death, nature's beauty, and the passage of time, which are all things I love slash hate slash can't avoid thinking about. So I think this would be good. This would be good. And then I don't know if anybody has seen my previous video where I talked about books that I've read recently, but I recently read, and by recently, I mean like months ago, um, read The Apprenticeship and the, or The Book of Pleasures by Clarice Lispector. And I have Agua Viva. Um, and I really don't know what to expect, but the structure is very interesting. Whenever I feel like I want to be like in a thinky mood, I can always rely on Clarice Lispector. Hence me deciding that I want to read this because my current reads are very nonfiction and not necessarily creative as much as they are like kind of informative or for the sake of telling a story in the case of Kitchen Confidential but I think these two are good in the way that they are more on the like creative quote-unquote side and they are kind of not really narrative based to my understanding so I maybe will get some progress on those and we'll share. I am going to head to Michael's here shortly. All right, I am back from the store. By store, I mean Michael's and this like stationary store that just that sells like holiday stuff anyways i ended up finding this like cotton yarn and it's like green and red and white so i don't have to do any like thing crazy and it was buy two get one free so i got three of these We'll see, um, but I'm gonna make little scars for the animals. I wish this fucking thing would focus on me, but um, I also went to that other store and I got two little ornaments. So I would like to slowly collect cute ornaments because um, right now I have like two, I bought a kimono ornament and then a gray cat in a Santa costume <laughs> ornament from this like market and then I found this little like snowball angel thing and I just thought it was cute and then I got this owl and it has like little it's like furry and it has little feather wings and I just thought it was so cute and they're kind of both like bulbous if you will, but yeah. I think I'm just gonna hang out for the rest of the night. But that was the excursion. <laughs> Good morning, it's the next day. I am just about to leave to go to lunch, but I'm trying to pack up some books because I'll be in like the part of town where I wanna donate some books. So I have some books over here that I want to get rid of just to declutter some aspects of my life slowly but surely 
um, and then maybe as I declutter I will probably accumulate um, meaning that since I will already be at the bookstore a used bookstore might I add I will probably purchase something um, but we'll see but I do need to go to lunch like right now but I will see you when I see you hello everybody I am here because I don't feel like filming on my regular camera but I need to wrap this video up and I thought I would give you guys some updates so first things first um, I crocheted a hat for my little cat and I will be putting it on him and showing everybody Ooh. every say hello <laughs> he hates it but he's gonna match with his brother cousins I don't know my sister's dog and my family dog um anyways I did end up going to the bookstore but I did forget to bring my books so rats but um I did buy a book I got No Exit and Other Plays by Jean-Paul Sartre. I have actually read No Exit before, but I thought I would check out the other plays. The other plays include The Flies, Dirty Hands, and The Respectful Prostitute. So I did really like No Exit when I read it, um, and I thought these would be good. Because I do want to venture into plays a little bit more. I, I mean, I have read plays, but I haven't read a ton. And I think they could be fun. I was looking for Shakespeare, but, and I was looking for, like, Macbeth primarily. But they didn't have Macbeth. So I picked this because I was more intrigued. So, and Forrest is climbing in a bag. But, please stop. Please stop. Okay, I do want to close this video out here because I don't feel like <laughs> filming anything anymore. Um, and this feels, I, I feel as though I've, I've encapsulated what I've needed to. But yeah, thank you so very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you when I see you. Bye.